Hello children. In EVS, we were reading lesson 8, house construction, sanitation. In page number 96, we were seeing the picture how to construct a house. What, what are the materials used for constructing a house? They are cement bricks, cement, sand, wood, plywood, steel rods, marble slabs, tiles, etc. And what are the tools required for constructing a house? They are hand drill, screwdriver, cutting pillars, hammer, plumb line, etc so for bringing the materials like cement banks we required lorry for bringing sand we required tractor for bringing steel rods we require A lorry or a tractor for bringing plywood sheets mostly we need auto to bring the material for bringing cement bricks we need lorry to carry the material so in the first picture you can see They are the peop the person is collecting clay and removing the stones, small pebbles. You can see in the first picture. In the second picture, you can see making clay into smooth paste by making cattle terminal you can see in the second picture that one the activity they are doing is making clay into smooth paste by making cattle terminal in the third picture you can see filling the molds with mud in the fourth picture arranging the dried bricks in clean in the fifth picture you can see baking them with firewood or husk In sixth picture, that is transportation of bricks in tractor. So the persons, the people are transporting bricks in tractor. In page number 97, you can see the next side heading construction of house, other materials besides bricks. Material used for materials used in construction of house like foundation stones are available in different colors in our state in Tandoor and Kamam. You can see stones made in Tandoor. Here, marbles made in Rajasthan and here you can see granite stones which are made 
at Shabad and here also you can see granite stones which are made at Kamam. Gravel stones are required to prepare concrete. For this, crushers are used. Huge rocks are put in these machines and cut into smaller pieces. Workers who do this live at the place of work if needed. Their children also live with them. So here you can see the crushing stone crushing machine in the textbook page number 97. So gravel stones are required to prepare concrete. What is a concrete? It is a building material which is a mixture of sand, gravel, cement and water which becomes hard as stone when dried. You can see the gravel is being crushed with crushers. Huge rocks are crushed into small pieces with in this machine. See page number 98. See the side heading construction of apartments. The price of land in towns and cities is very high. So apartments with many houses are constructed on smaller sites. Apartments are constructed to accommodate 25 to 30 families. The residence of each family is called a flat. Nowadays, apartments are being constructed to, ap to accommodate more than 50 families. You can see these are found in cities and towns. So these are apartments. So mixture, mixer used for the con concrete preparation this machine is used to prepare concrete preparation and here you can see crane crane used for building this type of apartments and here in this picture you can see lift to make to take materials you can see the lift which is being used to take materials see in your textbook page number 99 generally marbles of generally marbles or tiles are laid on the floors of apartments are they available in your area find out how that materials has reached your place and where from the important parts of a house are doors, windows and frames. Usually people use wood. Nowadays some are using doors made of iron. In apartments they make doors with plywood. Glass is used for windows and doors. See the side heading houses in different regions. Houses are constructed keeping in mind the temperature, the rainfall and the materials available locally. Let us learn about the different types of houses in the various regions of our country. Rainfall is more in northeastern regions such as Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland etc. where damp climate prevails. Damp means wet climate prevails. The Britishers started constructing houses here around the year 1826. We find more wooden houses here. Bamboo is used to make walls. They are coated with a mix of clay and cow dung. The roofs of the houses are slanting. Slanting means they are slightly tilted. 
the roofs of the houses are slanting made with sheets the lower part is constructed on stilts a passage that allows the rain water to drain off is called a stilt kashmir has a cooler climate sometimes the temperature fall to the sometimes the temperatures fall to below 0 degrees centigrade here houses are constructed on mountains in srinagar tourists get to stay on house boats called dhonga or dal lake sorry on dal lake in srinagar tourist get to stay on house boats called dhonga on dal lake do you know colored houses are available at thandur in our state stones are very cheap here so people construct the walls slab flooring everything with these stones stone roof it is not amazing similarly coconut leaves in coastal regions bamboo in nalamala mayam forest are widely used for the construction of houses houses problems we all need houses to live in but most of the people do not have their own houses these people live in rented or temporary houses many poor people in our state do not own houses government constructs houses for those poor people live in huts beside streams river banks and in open places in towns and cities observe the picture given in your textbook next side heading excretion in open places many rural villages don't have toilet facilities some people though have toilets go to open places for excretion this is an unhealthy habit you can see the picture many problems arise due to this house flies that sit on the stools spread harmful bacteria when the stools is excreted near lakes and streams it mixes with water when it rains when we drink water when we drink this water we are affected by diseases like cholera and typhoid worms spread due to open excretion anemia is used is caused due to worms in the stomach anemia is caused due to worms in the stomach anemia is a disease which is caused by the deficiency of red blood cells in our blood so anemia is caused due to worms in the stomach the food taken is absorbed by the worms and the persons and the person remains weak deworming tablets should be taken twice a year see the textbook next side ending complete sanitation to be provided the government is trying to provide toilet facilities to all it is providing an economic help to all weaker sections to build toilets you can see in your textbook about the woman anita bai who demanded toilet to stay at her husband's house you can read in your textbook 
how she got economic help from the government for construction of toilets at her house see in your textbook page number 103 sanitation a compulsory requirement health is wealth most diseases spread because of unhygienic conditions dirty surroundings in the main is the main enemy of health observe the picture given you can see the picture a woman is throwing the garbage out of the house how is garbage collected at our houses observe the garbage collected at your house there is leftover food leaves peel of fruits wet garbage covers papers etc wet trash decays quickly and mixes with mud we should throw, throw this into compost pit we can recycle dry trash the municipalities in the the municipality in the towns and cities collect wet and dry garbage separately we should collect the wet and dry trash separately and give it to municipal workers when when they bring the collecting van we should not burn the garbage in heaps air gets polluted to due to this this is harmful to the environment see page number 104 lake chand of chandigarh collected garbage and used it to the construction of used it to construct a beautiful rock garden you can see the picture not just keeping the surroundings clean but also removing garbage is equally important for our houses think how we can reduce garbage we should practice the following three principles to protect the environment reducing garbage we should purchase goods according to the requirement and reduce wastage we should not use plastic glasses plates bags and spoons when we use them once for a day and throw away they get strewn every way the they pollute the atmosphere and when thrown into water pollute it too due to this fish and aquatic plants die instead of plastic we should use cutlery made made with steel and metals we sh- we can use them for a long time there is no need to throw them away reuse required and refilled goods must be used bags and covers can be re- reused thus usage of plastic is reduced recycling new things are made by reprocessing iron plastic glass paper and electronic goods we can reduce garbage by recycling see the side heading how a clean house should be how is the house in the picture you can see the picture a house with sufficient light free air plants and trees in its surroundings is pleasant 